Uh, while all of that is going on, in Yobe State, the licenses of all primary schools have been revoked by the state government. The state government directed operators interested in following the laid down rules and regulations uh, to reapply for new <laughs> licenses. According to the state government, activities of all private schools in the state will henceforth tally with that of public schools and proprietors will no longer be allowed to operate and set rules that violate the morals and the values of the state. The state commissioner of basic and secondary education, Dr. Mohamed Sani Idris, made the announcement and he added that the error of taking shortcuts in the registration of private schools is over. Therefore, parents should take note that um, they are going to also communicate this latest information to the West African Examination hmm. Council. All right. Now, the commissioner also said the UB State government has approved dual curriculum in all public schools. Dual curriculum in all public schools. The policy will also be applied in private schools for, for pupils who are interested to memorize the Quran and learn Arabic language. Now, if a student or pupil is not interested in such, then they will have to learn French instead so that they can graduate with at least two languages apart from their mother tongue. All right, so that is the new drill in New York State. Now, my, I thought I was, when I heard the news, I was wondering, can we say that all the primary schools, none of them, could be exempted, like all of them ran foul mm. of the lay down rules and regulation. I mean, if that should be, then something must be wrong with the agency of government supervising them. Mm. Not only that, why do we keep having mushroom private schools? It is because of the shortage and inadequate number of public schools. It's unfortunate. And when government now wakes up and in one fell swoop sends all of them away, they are not thinking about the people that will be affected. Your neighbors going to public school this morning, they woke up and then they are in school. And you are home doing what? In a, in a, look, in a place where more <coughs> children are out of school than those in the school. We don't need to cut the nose to spite the face. In the issue of the governor or commissioner, whatever, I would never have done that. They could have attended to the challenges of this school. During the, if the holiday was there for that to have begun and sell them, these are the things lacking here, ABC. If you can't provide them, you won't resume. Then to now send all of them back. But according to the commissioner, the schools were not meeting up to to the standards, you know. What I'm saying is, it cannot be all of them. Holds all, hundred percent. what you mean. Perhaps they are thinking of just closing down uh, and then starting all over again and then sanitize the whole private school system. What do you think, well, Mr. Tojiko? Well, there's, there, there, there has always been private schools, or there have always been private schools in our midst, even during the days of the First Republic, we have some private schools. But then they were strictly regulated. But these days in Nigeria, nothing gets regulated. It's free for all. People commit crime. They don't get punished for it. You have uh, armed robbers, notorious armed robbers, known to the whole society, kidnappers and all that. Uh, the, the criminals of different sorts just struck around with impunity and nothing happens to them. I was watching a video where a criminal was telling a policeman, I go change them for you. I'll be back in as this say one year mm. and I will show you what I can do. Mm. A criminal should be ashamed of himself. Mm. The weight of the law should be on the criminal. The the, the spice, the shame uh, 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 should be should, should kind of tame him. But this man was acting with uh, this uh, flamboyant and uh, change up for you. So that's what the that's what turned out in all aspects of our society. Mm. So in schools nobody gets regulated anymore and the schools are motivated primarily uh, by academic excellence whatever thing comes second 
But these days, schools are motivated by money. Oh, fees. Yeah, money. And every other thing comes second. Uh, so when you're driven by money making, then you start cutting corners. You start telling lies. You start lowering standards. Um, I was talking to a principal. I, I went to my nephew's school, a private school, and I was so disappointed. The principal and the vice principal were sharing the same office. Okay. And two, two students were coming in and going because the principal sold granot, sold pen. I said, in my days, you can't come into the principal's office. The secretary or receptionist will stop you. Uh, was, that, was that a private school or a public school? Public school, school but public even school. those days, private schools were like that. It's just that standards were like cross board. I said, Madam, Madam uh, Principal, how can you be selling granola <laughs> to your own students? How can they take you seriously? He said, what are we going to do? How much are they paying us here? So survivor, and my cousin told them that maybe they paid him 25000 And the principal herself can barely manage a conversation in English. English. Mm -hmm. So they evidently, they employ the unqualified so, so they can pay them the uh, pay, pay tax, mm -hmm. you know? So that's the, well, my cousin, then cutting off corners, the principal said that somebody will fail a class and you say, no, you have to repeat this class. Mm -hmm. The mother says, no, she can't repeat or her, her friend her French will be in the next class and she'll be repeating. <laughs> and the person comes the next semester and registers for the next class, although she failed. But since this morning we are looking for, if they pay their fees, we let them stay. They, don't just, they really fail their students. <laughs> and, 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 and very close to that, to that examination time, you arrange for them to get help to pass their As for exam. external examination? No, no, no. Within the school, my, my nephew told me, because my nephew ostensibly, supposedly, has school sir but can barely punctuate a sentence. <laughs> Doesn't know where to put uh, full stop. Oma, so oh, full stop. I said, which kind of school? I, I, I wrote it in a hurry. Hey, don't write it in a hurry. Calm down, write it. Okay, <laughs> we'll come back and we'll talk a bit more about the school system in Nigeria. And of course, we're leveraging on the uh, development in Yobe State as the government just closed down all private schools. I beg your pardon, revoked the licenses of all private it's schools so and asked. <laughs> well, they are insisting they really didn't close no, down. Uh, but then when you revoke someone's license, you cannot operate. Cannot operate. Yeah, 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 but yeah, 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 yeah. I will go with, with the word they are using. The so they have revoked the licenses of all, every one of them, private schools in that particular state. All right, so you were saying. Yeah, you were talking of a teacher, a headmaster, selling granola. Mm. Yeah, principal. I, we, principal. Yes. We went to a school to donate um, things during Christmas, and the principal was busy attending to people's feet. She had POS, you know, <laughs> and, and give it to her, collecting their card and giving them money. And I was like, what kind of nonsense is this? <laughs> the woman said they, they were selling things before, but the owner of the school didn't like it, so they had to now look for other business, mm. and that is the POS business. Mm. That virtually all the teachers in school have POS machine in there. You know, when, when we were in, in school, our teachers had interest in our success. Mm. They were teaching us with passion. They wanted to be teachers. They did not become teachers by circumstances yes. or through joblessness mm. or not having alternatives. They choose to be teachers yes. and they were teaching. Yes. Not only that, but only all our parents had interface with our teachers. They could just walk up to them, want to know how well you are living mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. But these days, these things are missing. So beyond infrastructures, the college, I mean, the people who teach, or who they call teachers, it's also for me a critical thing. You go into a school, as you said, a lot of them cannot hold their own in any conversation. Mm -hmm. and it's, it's unfortunate. There was a school, is it in Yobe or Yola? And then in secondary school, they were having physics class. And none of them could speak English. And I was like, do they teach physics here? In Hausa or Fulfudu or what? And the man said, how is that my business? That should mind what brought me here. Uh, you know, I mean, we, we need a lot to do. Last week, we just got a list of 100 fake professors mm -hmm. in university. Mm -hmm. By yesterday, there were 37 fake universities mm -hmm. 
They said they just closed down. I don't know why all of these bad things are happening here, but the only thing I can say is that we have failed to empower institutions whereby everybody will deliver value according to whatever rules of engagement established. You know what? People, those who should go there and examine them, tell them the truth. Oh, you don't have A, B, C, D. We give you a week to make it up. If we come back and you don't have it, we'll be in trouble. Once they are given envelope, they close their they eyes. Close their eyes. Close and the, that the, is the, the problem. The, the corruption, the Nigerian factor. And in the past, a teacher is paid. He has a BA in physics. Mm. He makes his money. The money has purchasing power. It can buy him a car on higher purchase and it pays over the time. But once the Naira started getting devalued, money and salary Naira, wasn't getting yeah, increased. Exactly. So the money lost its value. So everybody started having a side hustle. So the teacher who could focus, some did not focus, but they were in the minority, the majority focused. Because the salary was enough to take care of the citizens, <coughs> give you a comfortable life, not make you rich, but make you comfortable enough. Now it's not the same anymore. With 100,000, 150, you cannot get anything done. So there's need for side hustle. And then this side hustle, uh, 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 kind of the uh, diversion of attention, they've tailed into in mm -hmm. uh, 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 some malpractice. My, my nephew told me that he didn't want to pay anybody during the exam. But if you don't, the investigators will keep harassing you. So ultimately, you pay something so that the investigators will either help you with the exams or allow you to bring in whatever you want to pass your exams. And during my time, we called it expo, any form of examination mm -hmm. malpractice. Your parents better not know because they will kill you. To them, you will disgrace to the family. But now parents will gladly, happily pay the teachers and whoever is involved to get you passed. You know? And then the, the private schools, when you say we have all A's, we have uh, 51, uh, 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 what do they call it, uh, grade ones. And if they think it enhances their prestige. But in the final analysis, the whole society is suffering. All right, so according to the Commissioner of uh, Basic Education in Yobe State, uh, if you must operate a private school in that state, uh, you must play the game by its rules. That's why they've decided to scrap and cancel all the licenses, and they're saying you should reapply, and within a period of 30 days, you will have your new license.